to KLA English, American Textbook Reading, Treasure Study 2, Lesson 3. Let's start. Hey students, welcome to lesson today. I'm Brian Sturt. Well, in lesson 3, we are going to be learning about people find new homes. We are going to be learning about the popular home, the U.S., the United States. The United States is a country with people from all over the world. So, this is the topic that many people want to learn about. So, today we are going to be learning about the United States. All over the world is the United States. Okay, the first word we have here is a country. A country is a particular area with its own people and government. So in the United States, they consider many kinds of people, but they are all America. They are all United States. They are all in the United States, right? They're just only many, many types. They're different, but they are the same in which country they're living in, right? So they're still living in the United States if they're different from each other. There are many types of peoples living in the United States. So let's turn to the next one. Okay, and the next word we have here is immigrant. Immigrant means a people who from this place and they want to live in that place, in that country, and then they move to our country to live as a citizen. They're not tourists. No, tourists just look, come and look and then turn home. These immigrants come and live in this city for a whole big time. They want to go back home like tourists. These immigrants live there too as a new citizen in this country, right? Someone who comes to the country to live as a citizen is an immigrant. Okay, the next word we have here is move. What does move mean? Move means to change where a person lived. So kind of like you move. You move to another place to live in. So kind of like you're moving your whole family, moving your whole all future in your family. So you won't live in the old house that you're living to, but now you're moving to a new house. You're moving to not a place to live, right? Okay, so don't think about kind of like you're visiting a place. No, you're moving there and you're going to live there too. It's just called to move. Move is a verb. The next word we have here is language. So language, when you're moving, you will need to talk about the language. That means of humans communication using either voice or language. So you will need to talk language. This boy. I've never seen a people who talks with words out of them. <laughs> or maybe he's eating the words. No, 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 no. One more I about that. And I am using the language, English. I'm using my voice and uh, letters and words to talk to you. I'm using my voice or letters or words together to make a lessons like this to talk with you when i am talking about language i would use my voice to talk about different language kind of like english or korean or chinese or japanese maybe right all languages I've never seen people like that, like talking out when the letters come out. Just maybe a photograph picture or he's eating, he's eating words. Oh, no, no, no way. Now let's move to the next word. Just know that he's talking. Okay. Okay, the next word we have here is different. Different means not the same. If everything is the same, it will be bored. But there's something that is different, kind of like this. It will be a lot more funnier and a lot more nicer. But not only the same was boring, 
it makes it sad too because if you do a project and the project are the same, then um, people think that you're copying, right? Maybe. Or if you get along with people, means if you're a very good friend, you don't mean that um, you are now so bad, you mean. But means to be so nice, to still be nice, to live with any other people without any any other troubles, right? No troubles, no troubles here. They're incorrect. Get along without no trouble. No trouble when you're living there. So getting along means you live with others without any troubles, like you're living with your neighbors. Okay, so be different, but not different in um, means, right? Just kind, don't be mean. Okay, the next word we have is all over the world. When we're learning words, we need to, we don't, usually we just learn one word. We learn many words. So all over the world is one word. Uh, one idiom that we have. When you're talking about all over the world, you're talking about anywhere or everywhere in the whole big world. So you're flying all around the world, man. You're flying everywhere in the world. If you're going to live in all over the world, then it'll be anywhere, right? So just by the word all over the world, help us know more about all places in the world, right? Not just one place. Okay, so now let's look about immigrants bringing the cultures to the United States. First is language. When we're saying thank you in the United States, we say thank you or thanks or you're welcome, right? But in our language, we say arigato or in Vietnam we say come on, okay? We all know it. Or in different other language, crazy or nukuna uh, or any other language that we have. Next up, food. Vietnamese food, kind of like bánh thép, bánh chung. You're talking about mooncake? No, mooncake is from China. Or if we are Japanese, they're bringing sushi, sashimi, ramen, many wonderful foods. What about clothes? In Vietnam, was bringing alzai, nongla, or whatever ours is. In Japan, we're wearing kimono, yeah, or a samurai suit. Yeah, sometimes too. And recreations. You do things by yourself, by your hobbies, by your country's hobbies, not the United States hobbies, right? So whatever things you bring in, it's just yourself, right? So let's see about some very, very, very kind of like famous immigrants comes to the United States before nine. 1916, most immigrants were coming from Italy, Poland, Germany, and Great Britain. Great Britain is kind of like uh, another small place of England. Now, most immigrants are coming from Mexico, India, or China, right? Most of them are from Mexico, India, and China. Okay, so let's do this chart together. America is a country with people who move from our country. But a Sunday country? Cultures from Europe, huh? No. All over from Europe? No. Immigrants from Europe. Immigrants are people who that they can move. Nowadays, people come to the United States from all over the world. From cultures? No, culture is not anything that can be moved. Right? It's not even a thing. So all over the world. And the last word, of course, cultures. Everyone comes to the United States with their culture. So that's pretty easy, right? 
So now it's time to say bye.